there, I wanted to pop in and tell you a little story about how we get in our own way sometimes without realizing it by making assumptions that we don't realize we're making. So this story begins, once upon a time, I got to meet Jack Canfield, you know, the chicken soup for the soul guys, and that's a true story, I really did. But he told a story about how he had gotten in his own way, and that's what I want to share with you. So when they first published Chicken Soup for the Soul, they had to self-publish it, and this was long before self-publishing was a thing, but no, no publisher would even touch it. Nobody wanted it. So, they self-published and were selling it out of the trunk of their car. He was a little bit frustrated, understandably so, but one day he was meeting with his coach, his mentor, because yes, even Jack Canfield has a coach. Yeah. Anyway, um, the coach asked him, he said, well, Jack, what would feel like success for you? What's a tangible thing that you really want that would be evidence for you of success. And he, he didn't skip a beat, he said, Cadillac, I want a Cadillac. So his coach said, well, Jack, I want you to go down to the Cadillac place and I want you to imagine that you have cash money in your pocket to get yourself a Cadillac. And I want you to look at all the models and all the colors and all the gadgets and gizmos as if you are actually shopping for a Cadillac. I want you to feel what it feels like to have that cash money in your pocket and shop for Cadillac. So he did it. He pretended he had a pocket full. And he goes to the Cadillac dealer and he's telling the fellow, the sales guy, you know, I love this color, I love these features, I love this model. And naturally, the sales guy, whose job is to sell, says, well, let's go back to my office and take a look at numbers. So, you know, Jack's going to follow through. And he did. He went and sat down in the office with this guy. And the guy wrote and wrote and wrote and then turned two papers around, two pieces of paper around to face Jack. And he says, okay, so this is the sale price if you just buy it outright, or this is the sale price if you trade your car. This is the lease price. And Jack said, lease price? What's that? I've never heard of lease in a car. And the guy explained it. And long story short, Jack walked out of the showroom that day with a Cadillac because he had assumed that he really did need that pocket full of cash, that he had assumed that he couldn't afford his Cadillac. And he had assumed that it was beyond his reach, that the book would have to sell, that all these external things would have to happen before he could get his Cadillac. And then he sat there and realized, oh my gosh, my assumptions were incorrect. And it was my assumptions that were in the way, not the price itself. Now Jack went on to say that he may or may not recommend leasing a car. That wasn't the point of the story. The point was that he assumed he couldn't have what he wanted because he didn't have the money, he thought, and he was wrong. And that moment changed his life forever. And y'all, actually hearing his story changed mine, and now I hope it'll change yours. So enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out doing the uh, run errands things. I love you. Bye for now.